Hey, how you guys doing? This is Steven Silver again, and I just don't want to end this fight right now, okay? I feel like this is an important thing just to really keep this going with the discussion about not giving your artwork away for free and not to let companies take advantage of you. So what I want to do is start really creating a series of uh, tapping into this with different videos, tapping into different aspects just to help you because this is where it all starts. It all starts with the education and there's one thing to go on a rant like I did and there's one thing to get passionate about it like I did but there's one thing to sort of give that advice. So what I want to do is give you that advice and on today's topic I want to talk about competitions because Competitions are one of these major threats out there that I want you to be aware of. And it all comes down to really paying attention to the fine print. Unfortunately, there's a lot of companies out there, big companies, and they may have good intentions or maybe not. I don't know. I, I kind of doubt that with what I read on the fine print. When you enter these competitions, whether you win or you lose, it doesn't matter and there's a lot more losers than, than winners, is that you don't own the rights to your artwork that you've just done. Now, the danger in that is you have just created a new, a new composition. You have just created a new style, in a sense, a new varied variation based on their characters. Okay, and you may be a fan of this certain uh, brand, okay? But the thing is, the, the buyer beware on this is that when you enter these competitions, you must understand, unless it's otherwise stated, that they own the rights to your artwork and can change your content and use your content to do as they please, which means you have now entered their competition, you have just given them your ideas, your layout, your stylization, everything about it, and they can take it and create their own Zazzle account or any other account and start to sell your image without your knowledge oftentimes because you don't know you're not going to research that and oftentimes they are going to put it in all these other formats that you won't be aware of I mean they could take your composition for you know and get someone to uh, adjust it and do something else with okay and that's what's happening so it's very important to make sure on this competition level that you read the fine print okay there is healthy competition I believe in competition but I also believe in what Wallace Waddle said was don't be competitive be creative and the thing is is be creative in the idea that you can come up with your own ideas, you can come up with your own way of branding yourself, you can come up with your own way of getting your own exposure and a lot of these things we're going to tap into as I do other videos because I want to make this a video blog about how you can really start to protect yourself on every level. So number one is, you know, also think that art is my life. This, my art has value, okay? So this is what you need to say to yourself, that this art is my life and my art has value. And believe in that and know that, okay? So you need to make the change. You need to get the stronghold and be passionate and stand by your convictions and say that you do believe in yourself as an artist. We are not the dime a dozen, like I mentioned, that you can forge your own industry, you can forge your own way, and there are ways to do that, okay? And I'm going to start bringing these points up and what you can do to start to do that and not have to rely on this. So this is what I just want to say with the competitions, is read the fine print. And as we, as a collective, as individuals, as artists, stop entering these competitions where they own everything for you, from you, and they can do as they please with it, well, then these competitions will go away. But believe me, you're not getting the exposure they're promising because no one is seeing your artwork. I can guarantee you that. And any of you that are in that place where you have entered these and go, you're right. I never got any calls from that. No one noticed me. No one did anything. I have entered a competition before. I entered an animation competition once before, and I came in third place on that competition. Did I get any further exposure? No. Did I get any phone calls from any industry professional to say, dude, we saw your stuff and we loved it and we want it? No. No one cared, okay? So this is the most important thing is also, if you have to pay for any of this, do not enter a competition where you have to pay money up front to enter that. That is a big red flag, and these companies are making money off you there. So please, just really, it's kind of buyer beware, educate yourself, read the fine print, 
Do not just enter these just because you think it would be fun and all your friends are doing it and everyone else is doing it. You're doing it for the wrong reasons, okay? And I want you to start to create if there's competitions where it's uh, you know that you own all the rights to it, that's great. Then you can put it in your portfolio, which is you want to do. I've just spent an hour, two hours, three hours working on this piece. You should have the right to put that in your portfolio. And if they tell you, like many of these sites do, that you can't even put it in your portfolio, forget it. No way. You, it's your interpretation. It's your art. You put it in your portfolio because now that will help you. Okay, this is part of the exposure. You put it on your Facebook. Don't expect that you're going to get lots of comments and all the sort of feedback. Oftentimes, you're never going to get that when you enter a competition again. There's so many people entering. No one cares. So it's about taking that initiative and making sure that you kind of start to do this for yourself and Put it in your portfolio, put it on your website, show people what you can do because all anyone cares about in this industry is how well you can draw and what you can do. And what you want to turn that into is a paying gig. And you can as long as you stop feeding these just insane competitions that are claiming that they own what you do. And that should not be okay. All right? So please. Again, this is all about keeping this message alive, not doing this artwork for free. Let's change the industry. Keep spreading the word. Don't let this die, please. Let's keep this going. It's an important message that I want to get across to you and educate you um, from doing your art. Don't get caught in that trap. Well, I'm just an artist. I'm a right brain person. I'm not, I don't know anything about business. Educate yourself about that. We've all gone through school. We've all gone through high school, whatever it may be. We know how to learn too. We're not idiots. We're not dumb. All right. So don't use that as an excuse that I'm, I'm an artist. I, I don't know anything about business. No, that's no longer an excuse. And if you get your information and your education right here by me, fine. Great. Just make sure that you take the initiative now. Okay. Believe in yourself. Believe what in what you do. Believe you are worth something and I, you'll see the change. It's going to happen. Believe in it, please. Okay, so this is my message to you. Carry it on. Spread it on. Let's keep this going. And let's make this industry strong, solid, and we're all going to benefit at the end of the day.